today. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Las Vegas Raiders taking on St. Louis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between our visitors and the Las Vegas Raiders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. From the six. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And leading him out is their fifth year quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. A look at the numbers a week ago for Lindsey. One rushing touchdown, yes, but look at the rushing yards. He was up near 200. The one phrase I'd use to describe that performance, he carved up that defense. To throw on second down. Shields firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Back to throw. Shields. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Las Vegas sending out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their six foot six quarterback. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Have interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Now Jones, able to find his man, John Phillips. 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. This is intercepted. And the Raiders are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Throwing on first down, Shields. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Looking to throw, Shields. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. A give running right, Lindsey. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Operating from the gun, Shields. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Here we go now on first and goal. Back 
to throw. Shields flushed out right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run this one in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That second down play nets a minus four. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Operating from the gun. Shields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. On now is the field goal team. Here's the Raiders. We'll try for three. And this one will be a 29-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Throwing Jones. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Operating from the gun, Jones. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. From the gun on third down, Jones. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Pulled in at the 24. penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive on first down shields over the middle it's
it's complete. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Looking to throw. Shields. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll go with Lindsey up the middle. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Back to throw. Shields. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Give him 32 on the play. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Shields dancing to his left. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Shields. His throw incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Looking to throw. Shields. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Back to throw. Shields. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. It's their quarterback. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. They were looking to pass the ball there, but... They forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 nothing. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chargers getting set to go. And they are over 500 for the season, 4-3. and three. They got back above 500 with a victory last week. And, Charles, you think this is a very important week for them, do you not? I certainly do because when you start to do the math, and, yes, I'm using my fingers to count, if you're 4-4 four and four at the midway point, let's say you're saying 10 wins is your cutoff line for a playoff berth. It's usually right around that number. A loss here, all of a sudden you've got to go six and two down the stretch just to reach 10 wins. That means this game is vital. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Throwing again on second down. Jones going down the middle, and it's complete. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll run on first down. Webster, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. 19 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown. They put a lot of effort into game playing and establishing this ground game last week, and reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground game wants to be established again this week. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. From just shy of midfield, Jones. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now Jones to throw on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. On is the Chargers punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They were winners over the Dolphins last week. They are on top right now as well as they come up first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Another run by Lindsey. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. This offense on third down today, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Shields. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. 35 yards that time on the punt and they will take over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. They'll start this drive out on the ground and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Looking to throw, Jones. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Come on. 
Jones now on first and ten. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, it's Webster. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 18. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Up the middle they go. Webster. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Second and five now. Jones. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this third down try. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now a give right side. It's Webster. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Get in across the chop for a Chargers touchdown. A great effort there. His third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group... They tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Now the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away from the six and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the Vegas offense ready for their next possession and Charles if the season ended today and it's not going to we still have December Yay, left we're, football. Uh, we're only in November uh, but they would be a wild card team and that's great they'd be in the playoffs but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders that guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs and that's what you're really seeking but there also isn't much margin for error for this team right because right where they're sitting a two game losing streak can have them out of the playoffs so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. 
What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun. Shields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Back to throw. Shields. They'll find Lindsey here. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Looking to throw. Shields. He finds his man complete. It's Lindsey. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. A give up the middle to Lindsey. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. On first and ten, Shields. That one caught by Bibbs, his running back. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing it up fourth down. Fourth down, Shields. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it? Should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. He finds his man complete. It's Baker. On first down, Webster. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Off the play fake, Jones. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Baker. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. Hey, 
Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, and that is incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Operating from the gun, Jones. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Raider D, they get the football back. No surprise. They try to throw the ball on fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. Well, a little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, get right? Get your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Throwing on first down, Shields. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Shields. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lindsey. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Looking to throw on second down, Shields. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. A final shot before break. Shields. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL here on this first day of November. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, and it's the Titans out in front in that one. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Chicago Bears. Jonathan Taylor, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Lamar Jackson, strong in the victory as his guys looked better than a team that had won just one game coming in. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, 
They've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. The full start backs them up five, first and 15. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Webster. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. Back to throw. Jones. Over the middle complete. That's Baker. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 16. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. There he goes, right side. He's at the 30, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. So what a turn of events there. You're driving to take the lead in this third quarter, but then one mistake, and you're watching the ball being returned for a touchdown. Certainly a great example of how focus has to be there on every play, doesn't it, partner? You can't get complacent, and I think that he did. He's got him moving downfield, but that's a play where he just shouldn't have thrown the football. And that ultimately could wind up costing him the ball game. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Jet sweep to start the drive. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. From the 36, Jones. And this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He? he really does. And I know of one team at one point 
was training their quarterback with that time frame. And anytime he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. To throw on second down, Shields. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's a give to Lindsey. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Second and 11. They'll go again with Lindsey. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders use the short field to get in for six. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football. No more turnovers and see how that works. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Jones throwing on first down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he comes back with one complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. On second down now, it's Webster. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Now Jones on first down. 
And the Raiders have got him. Kayvon Thibodeau in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. And he was plus five seconds there with the football. Is there a time that a quarterback has to get rid of it? Somewhere generally around three seconds. So just like we're playing in our turkey bowl, right, in our backyards, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, that ball better be gone because anything past that, that's usually the end result. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a give right side. Webster. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Baker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Is the Chargers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. The offense running out and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Here comes Lindsey, toss right. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. This is Bibbs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Bibbs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Back to throw. Shields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 35. A nice pickup of 17 yards. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. On first and ten. Shields firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Evening. 
So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So three more points tacked on at this margin, getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. On second down, it's Webster. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Looking to throw. Jones. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. From just shy of midfield, Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Baker. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? Jones now on first and 10. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. Jones. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Well, someone is certainly having a big game, and while that sack doesn't quite have the splash of his pick six from earlier, you know he's thrilled to be making big plays during a great individual effort today. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Looking to throw, Jones. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. 
Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Operating from the gun. Jones. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll try the left side. It's Webster. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now he's got it. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. This Raider defense not giving in. They'll try to hold once more on third and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. Webster, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Point after, right down the middle. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing on first down. Shields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Back-to-back go. -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Shields. 
Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Looking to throw on second down. Shields. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Back to throw. Shields. Touchdown, Raiders! A five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And around the goal line, especially on two-point drives, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And able to get this out to the 25. the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense... Now the ball comes loose, and the Raiders pick it up inside the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. And maybe that's the perils of being a rookie running back in the NFL. I mean, look, it's not easy to hold on to the ball at any level with these talented guys. But in this league, you can learn a lesson early. Without a doubt, and what a tough reminder for any running back, especially a rookie, the things you get away with in college probably won't work so well in the NFL. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Chargers offense back onto the field. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they'll run on the draw. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
That one good for 13 and a charger first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So the completion good for six yards. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Here's Jones. Throwing on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. Bibbs. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. Now Bibbs. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 54 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. So first and ten now from the 30. They run it with Bibbs. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He's going to try and do this himself. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Looking to throw. Shields escaping the pressure right. And he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnovers. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. 
They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. To try again after the sack. Jones, he finds his man complete. That's Webster. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Jones on third down. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Las Vegas, the victory means they'll up their mark to 5-3 and three on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they drop back to 500 now at 4-up and 4-down. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.